Setting a standard in Christ. Setting a standard in Christ. Urban Family Talk. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to read this and just 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 bear with me real quick because I, I'm getting tired of people playing with and hiding behind scriptures and and trying to twist the scriptures and use it. And it sounds good to somebody who's not versed in the scriptures. But even though you have Paul talking about his liberty, becoming all things to all men, mm-hmm. when he's in a situation where he can preach Christ, he's going to preach Christ. My problem with these cats, they get a platform, <laughs> they get into a position where they can preach Christ. Christ and all of a sudden their jaws lock up. Mm. Mm. They're gonna want to lead with the art and yes. let the message catch up. Yes. They're yes. gonna want to lead with the art and let the message catch up. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's like, real. okay, so so listen if you're not familiar, Acts, Acts chapter 17, verse 22. Then Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are very religious. That's where these cats are. They are around religious people all day long, twice on Sundays, okay? For as I was passing through and considering the objects of your worship, the objects of Mm. your worship, let's go ahead and call it idolatry, I even found an altar with this inscription, to the unknown God. Therefore, the one, capital O, whom you worship without knowing, him I proclaim to you. So I'm going to start with one of your idols here that you don't know. But I'm going to tell you who he is. I'm going to these man, these these cats won't even use the platform that they got to get people to Christ. (laughs) They just keep building up their platform and Mm -hmm. building up their platform. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, verse 24, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshiped with men's hands as though he needed anything since he gives to all life, breath and all things. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. Mm. Verse 28, for in him we live and move and have our being. People quote that just they did, just, just that, take part. that out all the time. Yeah. OK, as also some of your own poets have said. OK, so now so so Paul is able to use their own existing building blocks to get to the gospel. The thing is, he doesn't use their building blocks and just stay there, just mm-hmm. stand on them. He's getting to the gospel. He is getting to the gospel. OK, yep. verse twenty nine. Therefore, therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something mm. shaped by art and man's devising. So mm. are you telling me now Paul just called out their idolatry mm. just... right in their face? <laughs> are you telling me Paul just called out their idolatry? Like actually... You're telling me he didn't secretly go and talk against it at mm. churches? Mm. Wait, wait. Paul didn't go secretly talk about idolatry and pagans in church Mm -hmm. so that the church people would love him. He talked about it among the idolaters (laughs) and it's up to you to do something with what I just said. Yep. Okay. This is what, okay. Right. So look, verse 30, truly these times of ignorance, God overlooked. Mm. Did Paul just call him ignorant? Yes, he did. (laughs) Truly these times of ignorance, God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent 31 because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man capital M whom he has ordained. Mm. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. Come on (laughs) now. And now listen to this because we want to win people. So what we try not to do is offend them. We don't want to go after their idols because we don't want to offend them. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go after their idols because we don't want to offend them. Verse 32. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked. Okay. While others said, we will hear you again on this matter. So Paul departed from among them and then preaching tone. Watch this. Verse 34. However, and this is huge. Some men joined him. And believed among them Mm -hmm. Dionysius Mm -hmm. or Dionysius, whatever, the Mm -hmm. Areopagite, a woman named Damaris and others with them. So you're going to tell me when the opportunity, when the opportunity arises and you take it 
being true to your conviction, the word of God, mm. being true to the gospel. Yeah. I'm not opposed to you going into a place and being able to use what's yeah. already there and say, man, let me point Go you there. to Christ. Right, the right. The thing is, you got to point people to Christ. No lockjaw. Yep. <laughs> they're not doing that man they're not doing that so now because let me tell you why let me tell you why here's why they're not doing it because of verse 32 some mocked Ooh, they don't want to be mocked hold on hold on, hold on. they don't want to be that mocked again? That, the that, reason they're not doing on, it man. is because of verse 32 paul said some mocked mm, they mm. don't want to be mocked and let me tell you why they don't want to be mocked. Because they have not built a platform to exalt the Lord God Most High. Mm -hmm. They have built a platform to exalt, exalt themselves. themselves. So don't come after my edges. Mm -hmm. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't come after my edges. I don't. I don't want to be associated with this weak, judgmental gospel. This. I don't want to be. You understand, man, what, imagine the boldness. And, and, and so Paul, even able to recognize, man, y'all are pretty smart. Y'all cats pretty smart. OK, so 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 in, in this in this, you know, CHH thing. Right. Mm -hmm. OK, y'all cats got gifts. <laughs> or, if, you know, you want to say gifts. This is y'all got gifts. Hey, hey, you, hmm. you're, you're right. OK, you, you're pretty good. You 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 do great things. Mm. Can I tell you who is the giver of all gifts? Come on. Can I tell you about that? Man, I'm, I'm saying Ooh. get to it. I'm yes. saying get to it. Man, don't hide it. You know, it. what was that old song that was, that was man, it was, it was so profound, that song. I don't care how you get here, just <laughs> get here if you can. <laughs> the thing is, man, these cats leave the hills and mountains between us. Like, it's just they don't even try to get over them. Right. Like, you know, it just, mm. man. So, so my, my thing is this. Get to the gospel. Yes. Get to it. And, and here's the thing. You got to know your own heart. You will, you will know what your desire is. Your desire is made evident in the way you operate. Oh, I'm just here. I'm just a fan, man. I'm just here. I'm just a huge fan, man. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. Fan boy. While, while people are perishing who you say you're trying to reach, you're just happy to be here. Hmm. Put Please, your boots man. back on. Mm. Come on now. We will do headlines when we come back. This yes. is Aaron the Addison on Urban Family Talk. Stay close. With Christ as our standard, Urban Family Talk.